Jason Woody. He's brought him. Just the beginning that Shoy Bakhtar wanted. Inside edge. Not too much movement of the feet by Sorov. He had a bit of luck in the previous game. Not so today. The first time inside edging it and crashes into the stumps. First two deliveries around the wicket. He decided to change the angle, come over the wicket. And the change of angle did Saurabh Ganguly. I think it just a little bit of movement back in towards the left hand. Got the inside edge. Good start. It's six for one. Who's had that go? Now, this will be interesting. Will the umpire judge it as leg buys? He's come back for the second. It is leg buys. Normally, if you're trying to take evasive action or avoid injuring, that's all good. That took him by surprise. One for the over. That's a great bouncer. That's a beauty. That's what's great about a pitch like this. The batsman has to be sharp. Points through, it may not reach the fence, it chases on. That's the gap that Sachin has exploited. He's coming back for the third. It's 15 for one. Oh! No ball. So there's a bit of a free hit now available. Really, I get the impression that certainly he's not at his best, he's struggling a bit. But he did get Sachin in the previous innings on a slower delivery now these free hits are interesting and uh, you generally see the batsman winding up there he is he's clearly over the line you usually see the batsman winding up and having a, a, a mighty swing well he's got the outside edge he's got a ball in fact he hasn't got a back to it that's gone as a wide so another free hit didn't quite get back to it. Well, that's been flicked and perfectly. That's a stunning hit for four. It's 26 for one. Look at that. Perfect timing, high elbow, four runs. It's gone through. We'll find the fans, Glenn over. It's 35 for one. It's a pretty big outfield, very green, lush green in fact. It's a little bit more strongly gripped on the bat. Beautifully done, great shot, a good shot on a pitch like this and that too against Shwe Bhakta. He is quick. The temptation for the fast bowler to try the bouncer. The initial moment from Gambir was onto the front foot, but he made the adjustment and the shot onto the front foot then. Then the chance of the body weight onto the back leg. Just a one man in the deep. That's a fine leg. I love him, the opportunity to pick, pick up a boundary, his first one. It's Blake's line. He looked for the Yorker after moving the square leg. A lot square on the final leg was inside the ring and Tendulkar as well. Everyone in the field, that is a Pakistani fielder, including Shweb Malik, is absolutely confused by this leg. The final leg is up in the ring. Why would you want to bowl the Yorker link? There he was, and he had no chance. Yes, it's gone wide, and it's back-to-back -back boundaries. And this boundary, less convincing for Tendulkar, also brings up the 50 for India. Oh, this is the best shot. He waited for the ball to come onto him, and sees through the offside, 54 for one. Gambir joins in, also brings up the 50 partnership. A little bit of torrid time against Shoy Bhakta. Beautiful drive from Gautam Gambir, a very difficult shot to execute. Square drive on a pitch that is assisting bowlers with serious bit of swing and seam. Jesus. Stop reading three runs will be the result.
India won the toss and elected to bat first. They lost to Afghan Gurley in the first over of the day, but since then, Tendulk and Gambier have added 65 from 76 balls. One wicket to share back to Things could have been different. Here are the Indian selectors. They have got a lot to decide today. I think it might just have fallen short of Cameron Atmel. If that ball fell short of Cameron Atmel, that's criminal. Because the batsman was driving, he was going hard at the ball. And if the keeper has been standing too far back, I think. Wonderful. He picked the length so quickly. He's got his eye in. And the margin for error here is getting smaller and smaller. Just back at the length. But since Sachin Tendulkar has played himself in, and he's picking up the length very early, and he was into a good position in a flash. Frequent. Another boundary for Sachin Tanuka. He's looking dangerous. Wonderful placement, wonderful timing. This crowd goes wild. Sachin Tanuka is picking them off. And he's on to 46. Oh, that was a, a poor delivery. 50 comes up for Sachin Tanuka. It's 86 half century in the ODIs. He wants to take it on to a three finger mark, but he's given his team a foundation to work with here. Must have been very enjoyable for Sachin Tendulka getting that 50. And they're forced to Tendulka on the offside and the next side. He's played them square. They've come square to look at on both sides. With the bounce in the surface, you'd expect that. And it is Pakistan have been a bit short. Have a little bit of room. Tendulkar has decided he will break free. It's Diwali, and the five crackers are coming off the bat of Tendulkar. There's a cracker, all right. Look at this, just a little bit of room. Drive to car, just becoming a little. A bit of luck for Gumbir early when uh, he could have easily been run out. But he's taken them on. Sachin's got 62 from 65. It's slapped away. Hard enough, and the placement good enough for Tenduka. It wasn't all that short. Oh. That's the little master at his best. Look at the balance. He's found the gap straight away. As one of those openers who plays for the Safavi, Dalton Gambir will not allow Shul Malik to sign down. Inside out, he plays this well. A modern over, it's turning out to be for India. 12 runs coming off it. And he tossed one up. And he pounced. Beautifully lofted cover drive. Just two yeah, too slow through the air. Belted. No stopping Tendulkar. They're going to stay hit every time he strikes the ball. 130 time for one. 12 extras in this 12 overs, but plenty of boundaries. 19 boundaries, 13 to Tendulkar. Four more. A small pitch also has provided the pace. Also provided the width, it's on, on the roll. It's in the air, long off. We'll merely watch the ball sail over. Magnificent strike from Tempaka brings up the 150. Yeah. Pick the ball up on the up. There it is. And a little punch over extra cover for six. Coming up for India. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Again, the fielding not so good. Here, Bishop was making the point. They've been inconsistent in the fielding department. 
And that's another occasion. But use of it is again. Just three fielders on the leg side. His man at long long. His man at deep mid wicket. He finds the gap of perfection and reaches yet another half century and one internationals. A terrific 50 from him also. He got peppered a little early in his innings. Had to come in. Fourth ball of the innings. Overstepping no ball will be a free hit. Will be allowed to change his field because he's taken a single. But Tendulkar will be on strike for the free hit. Oh, so close. Looks like it is, might be grounded behind the line. A tough call, that one. Well, he's played the battle time and he will get a boundary. That's one of his favorite shots. And he moves into the 90s. He's more to the line, Sachin Tanduka. Will he come back for the second chase for Shreba? He's looking for goes in. A bit of a mix up. 199. Well, a Sachin Tendulkar 100 is always a treat. Oh, a real wide one. Omar Udo losing the plot. So that's five rides. He had the right idea, but it was too short. This time it's Nick. It's been taken. He goes for 99. Kamran Akmal with a fantastic catch. And people can't believe it. Third time this year, Sachin Tendulkar caught behind. Tendulkar after a splendid 99. It's now 179 for two. Oh, looking for that run. Not there. All the throws in. All the throws. So now is off the mark. Try to maintain the right and left hand combination. Yuvraj Singh and next to him, Dhoni. Depends Dhoni. probably who's going to get out first. Now we're done for the appeal. Seva just a little early in pushing that one away towards the leg side. Hit the pads. But, uh, the highest number of runs for an Indian at Mohali. Yes. Afridi has picked up a good catch. Umar Gul once again has picked up a wicket at a vital stage of the game. Settled man out. Bottom of the gone. Out. So both the set batsmen who were really providing the momentum gone. Now this is a tame dismissal. It wasn't a slot. Bottom Gambir is pretty adept at this shot. Just didn't keep it down and neither did he go over the top. He was sort of halfway house. 57 competent Gambir. It is 186 for three. What a combination for India, Arun. If they get cracking, it will be uh, a spectacle for all. Yes, indeed. Take a look at that strike rate as well. He's, he's really a bit of a dasher. Just played one game here. This is his hometown. A good delivery now. This pitch could be a bit of a tester for you, Raj Singh. Brilliance from uh, Salman, but yes, uh, trying to re establish the momentum. These two India were really rocking a while ago till they lost two wickets. Oh, that's it. It was in an uncomfortable position. They're not looking at the ball. You watch, is hurt, but he's not down. But good delivery from Omar Gul, testing you, Raj, with a short one. Take nothing away from this spell of Umar Gol. He's got two wickets. He's testing the, the batsman. But this is exactly what I was talking about of not being able to sight the ball well enough. Nicely played. That's a zone where Varinda Sabag has been there. Two hundred up for the Indian team.
Good shot of your right. And brings the over to an end. Well, that was the predictable end for Jovrat Singh. In the previous over, he was softened up. And at the 43rd over, 2 1 6 to 3. Taken, that should not be in. Umar Gul is livid. He's absolutely livid. Yes, he's saying that that is the deeper side of the field. It's a bigger side. By now, we're into over another 34. The fielders should be aware when they need to be five to eight yards of the fence. And it's not the first instance where Raif Tahara has given away two easy runs. Nicely played. as a batsman you get used to it you can hit any shot in the book 224 for three no! is it two? Uh, you oh, I was there. He hit the song. Oh, he might have he hit himself somewhat oh, he? Oh, just wonder if it's crap well, he's only been out there for about 28 minutes, so I doubt whether that's the case. Might have just turned his ankle. He must have felt a bit of jarring in the knee as well. And he has struggled with the knee in the recent past. The only thing that makes this game so special oh, it's trouble. For that moment. Is that the wicket the Pakistani captain needed to bring Shweb after in? This is the sort of line that Afridi generally would have been looking to bowl a lot more. It slides on, it slides in. And he gave too much whiff early on. And so often when the batsman misses. Really generally hits when he's bowling well. So Rag gone for 25 and it's 239 for four. Four off the first ball and he's hit another untidy piece of cricket ball to Jockey Frey with the Ramis Raja and Bruce Young. Thanks, Ian. Good stuff from uh, the bowler and then the fielder, Shweb Akta. What was he thinking? That's gone fine. Not a great start. Yorad Singh has got this silky touch about his batting. It's a fair description, certainly, isn't it? It's just... Uh... Inside edge now uh, for a new batsman getting settled straight away on this pitch can be a little dicey. And we know that Irfan Patan can hit the ball extremely hard. Fresh over taken by Kamran Akmal, and that's end of Dhoni. So Shwe Bhakta doesn't need to steam in and bowl at pace. Shot run up doing the job. Dhoni is a vital wicket. And he's fallen to Schwab's bounce. And uh, Kamran Atmal's good keeping. Just about identical dismissal from the first uh, one day, a couple of days ago. It's 266 for seven. The Joker wanted the ball to pass Salman back, which it did, so single taken. He's around the wicket there, there's a single, the left hand is on strike and he's decided to come back over the wicket and I think this has probably been part of his problem. So pretty good, economical. Abhadan Singh has looked very busy at the crease, he'll pick up 
couple of runs. Mohamed Yusuf giving it a chase. Three's on the cards. Maybe four. No, they just uh, take three. And things they do happen. In the air. And the fielder is getting underneath it and taken. Mohammed Yusuf catches it cleanly. And Shreya Bakhtar doing the job for the Pakistani team, picking up two wickets. And most importantly, for Pakistan, he picked up MS Dhoni. Well, Irfan Patan, not the best choice of shots. Getting the shot delivery. Two men in the deep, taking his eyes off the ball at the time of execution of the shot. It was in the air for a long time. And Mohammed Yusuf takes it cleanly. Shreya Bakhtar relief, wicket number three for him. It's 278 for eight. He's got good ability with the bat. Sure, there's glimpses of that in Mumbai. Rodhajar <laughs> will pick up a single. Rodhajar Khan did play a useful hand in the last one day international against Australia. Match winning effort. Nicely played. And the ship go all the way. Handy boundary for India. And the man, Arbhajan Singh. First boundary in six overs and a good shot. Collides into the bowler, both looking at the ball. What a chance to hit much later. It's a handy batsman, Harbhajan Singh, and these are important runs. In the air, Kamran Akmal can't get there. And good running between the wickets. At times, the nature conspired for you to make you successful. And that was the blessing in disguise for Shoei Bakhtar. And forced to bowl with a short run up. Worked well, not only for him, but also for Pakistan. There you go. That's a massive run from Harbhajan Singh. It has cleared the boundary line. Last shot. <laughs> Harbhajan Singh. You can expect some action from him, either with the ball or the bat. He make him very, very proud indeed. Walking down the track, take the shot, delivery, got himself into a good position. The intention was to hit in the air and hit it a long way. Well, let me tell you one thing, Siva. Good offer, but nicely played. He's also got the gap. Kumar Gul is in the fielding. Harbhajan Singh is getting important runs. Another two. He's a very calm now. He was in the air, but the placement good. 300 comes up with the boundary. Easy shot to play. He backed away from the stumps, kept the eyes on the ball, and in the end, just released the bat. Good follow through. Enabled him to slice the ball towards the vacant area and pick up important runs. He's looking for the second, Zahir Khan, but content with the single. 3 to the 4 for 8. And what a shot that was. It's all over the road. 3 11 for 8. <laughs> Direct edge will be gone. Yes, Zayn Khan molded the single. Harbhajan Singh at the North Strikers end wasn't too sure because the inside edge had gone directly. To Cameron Akwell, who does a good job in the end. Yeah, he had plenty of time. Cameron Akwell to find the target. Just took his time, aimed at it, and found the target. Got the desired result. Ninth wicket gone, Zahir Khan. And India 3 11 for now. Can he get at least 10 runs for the Indian team? RP Singh has done the good job. By giving the strike to his senior partner, Harbhajan Singh. He's got 
underneath the ball. There is Kiyad Mohamed Yusuf. Magnificent strike this from Harbhajan Singh. Hint of fifth riches there. Yorker land, he moves back. Great to watch. Should be just a single, but he's finished off pretty well, Harbhajan saying after 50 overs in there. Uh, 321 for nine. After winning the toss and deciding to bat, Harbhajan Singh has made a good contribution. 38. Take a leaf out of Indian book when they play the first game. Huge shot. Leg buys and four of them. Third man is moving smartly to his left. They're in the same way as the man down there. Ten without loss. That's not where you want to be bowling on this track. It's inadvertent. It wasn't a deliberate delivery with width and a length by the bowler uh, be saying but it's the inconsistency a good start was in the air a good thing he missed the fieldsman and picked up two runs well if the ball is swinging appreciably as a bowler all you have to do is just try and pitch the ball in the right areas and let the ball do the talking as a bowler you don't have to experiment so much 24 without us oh. edged and gone for four This pitch has something in it for the bowlers, but if you stray, you can also go for runs because the ball comes on to the back quite nicely. Just wonder if Salman Butt intended to get this a little bit square. Maybe, and he went hard. It doesn't matter because he's picked up four. Good shot. Good shot after a couple of good deliveries to start the over. Pressure on Zahir Khan. He's gone for eight in two balls. Nothing wrong with the rate of scoring at the moment for Pakistan. But a long way to go. He picked up the length very early. Gone. Straight to backward point. He picked him out. That's sufficient bounce. That was the thing Indian wanted desperately. Good catch. Good reactions from Yuvraj Singh. And Indians on course by picking up their first wicket. 38 to 1. In his can. In place his camera that well. Put him uh, slightly on the higher side. Well, the dew was due to fall. I don't know whether he's got wet hands or dry hands or partly wet. Protection on the leg side now. And that's square leg mid wicket and mid on. Yura Singh with uh, a desperate dive, but Salman Bhatt is middling the ball quite beautifully. It really would have been a terrific catch. Once again, Irfan Patan shorter in length. Too much width, and that's his strength. He loves a little bit of width on the offside, like left hand is just wide of Yura Singh. A bit of excitement by the boundary. It's a good chase by Pakistan. Just keeping with the required run rate. That's what you got to do. Bowl a few frugal overs and uh, maybe help build the pressure because the onus is on Pakistan to get that six runs and over. and got the inside edge well now that could be the game that could be the breakthrough that's the slow ball 
He bowls it beautifully. He won the 2020 final bowling that stuff. Got a couple of wickets with it. So the seeds of doubt. Beautifully bowled. Oh, the 37 he made. 81 for two. Of a Freddy. 241 matches, eight and a half thousand runs at 42. Best of 141, a strike rate of 74. Oh, that is exquisite. What a delivery. Pakistan 94 for two, and there was a stage when India batted that in Dulka. Average against India even better. Around 47 average against India for Shor Malik. <laughs> Looking to charge Harbhajan Singh. Very clever bowling. Changes at the last moment. Look at the same position. Almost like a swinger. That smart glove work by Manjit Singh Bowie. And he's all pumped up. He likes to get wickets early in his pen. been turned down. How close is this one? It certainly came back in. Was the impact outside the line of box dump is the question. Not very easy for the umpires. A bit of a shuffle. The impact was marginally, probably marginally outside the line of box dump. Obviously has a good appeal, Saurav Ganguly. Let's see what virtual thinks. Impact, you can see he's marginally outside the line of Oxstam, and it's a good decision. The batsman was looking to play a shot. It's a good shot, he's found the gap, got the length, and Shoaib Malik needs no second invitation. A splendid shot, just moving, had to be able to free his arms short length but it's been such a good pitch the true nature of the bounce even against the spinners it's too tall in the shot and dismissed it here's a bit of a challenge Harbhajan wouldn't mind it going down the track spinach the turn this time will not be able to cut it off much needed boundary for Pakistan. Yeah, they need some momentum in the innings. This makes it seven runs off this over. So in the context of a slow period recently, it's a better over, but they need to string quite a few together. Boy! Miss catch, probably miss stumping as well. 124 for three. One rate required, 8.25. At one stage, if Pakistan were marginally ahead, he was to make it a Salman, but at that stage... Yes, uh, such outrageous options really will have to be employed by the batsman. Dive is in, Sevag is late, 
ball has crossed the boundary. Reverse sweep. He's played it well. He was in the slot. Obviously premeditated, but. Uh... <laughs> It's gone past everyone and it's a six. It's just gone over that rope. Suresh Shastri is in two minds. I think he needs to make a referral to the third umpire. Yunus Khan is smiling. I think he's pulled off a, a magical shot in the end. It was a top edge that I think has flown all the way for a six. Well, if it has gone for six, looks like the back of the bat. Sarov Ganguly will be saying to his teammates, how quick was I bowling tonight? <laughs> I got top edge for six. It's, it looks like it's definitely over. From where I was, I thought it had cleared the, uh, the rope and it's been given as a six. My eyes are as good as Suresh Shastri's. Two minds, divers in, good work from you, Rat Singh. Confusion in the middle for the two Pakistanis. One for three. Yunus Khan was on 49, that single gets him his 50. It's 147 for three. It's his 50. Well played, whether it's uh, going to be quick enough. Is good there. Once he beat you, Raj, the fielder in the deep had no hope. 150 comes up for Pakistan. Sarv Ganguly uh, has done a pretty good job. His first four overs were, were most uh, economical and very handy. But like most part time bowlers, they get in the fifth, sixth, seventh overs and they they haven't bowled a lot, and they tend to lose that line and length. And now, a few of the fans got across. They obviously still think they're under the chance. And there it is, 50 off 43 balls. That's pretty good, isn't it? Contributions 31 from Lewis Khan. for the reverse sweep and it clears the infield will it go across to the boundary Gautam Gambhir is uh, is absolutely brilliant his footwork was immaculate when he was batting and while fielding it's not bad at all Suresh Shastri will get the help from the third umpire he's talking to him now and it's been given as a four that was a pretty tough decision, I think. That's gone. One bounce into the crowd. Oh, it's been given as a six. I don't think it's a six. Suresh Shastri will have to confer with the third umpire. I, I don't think well, it's gone for a six. He's got underneath it. It'd be pretty hard to hit that for six off a gentle medium pacer. Looks like it's inside. Actually, this, Shastri. this time I'm better than Suresh Shastri in the third empire. I located it uh, much before these Donnies. A real loosener. That's gone into the gap. Good hit from Shweb Malik. He gets a boundary. Puts the ball, bad ball away. Harbhajan is not happy. Zahir Khan, man that dive to stop that one. Going to no use. Harbhajan's not happy because he bowled probably the worst ball he's ever bowled in his life. Maybe it is getting a little greasy. And uh, just slipped in his fingers. Just been a little reserved in his approach so find this thing. There he goes. It's the flat one. Will this be taken? Taken at long ball. Harbhajan Singh has blocked the Indian captain, he didn't look at the ball, I think that is what he's telling his partner at long off, but it does the job for India, Shri Malik perishes, it's a very good catch, 
by Irfan Patan. But at least he's had a go. He's tried to get it over the top. Look how quickly that travelled. Knocked him back. Nicely balanced and oh no. Got enough bottom hand. Didn't get it over the top. He's gone for 25, 174 for four. The dasher Miss Bowler is out there replacing his captain. Just 19 matches, good average. And uh, well, he's off the mark straight away. Slightly misfielded by the fielder at shot mid wicket. 176 for four, needing 146 from 17 overs at 8.59 runs per over. Papajan has bowled absolutely beautifully again. Two for 39 he's got now from seven overs. Got 12 tires here. Oh, that was needless, or is it? They've asked the question. The answer is quite clear. That is grounded. Not out should be the call as it is. He's gone for it. It's in the air. It's a difficult take, and obviously he's not going to make it. Really should have left it for the fielder coming in. This is the second time we've seen the Indians floor a chance like that. The previous game it was sort of Ganguly. Here is Yuvraj Singh, who's supposed to be the best. Well, he called early Yuvraj Singh. He said to Irfan Patan, "Wait, it's mine. It's my very early position, and that's why Patan pulled out and never made the attempt." That kind of an ability. But he's got hold of this one. That's into the crowd. Just as I said it. He had to connect perfectly. The 200 comes up, 201 for four. It's a welcome six. 121 more required from 82 balls. Ravishan's gone for a, over six and over tonight, but he's picked up two wickets which have helped in this cause. Now they need a few more big overs, Pakistan. He's got away with that. That's played fine. Probably won't run away. Hello. Two is all they'll get. Again, the slow delivery. He's been put away. Too much time. And Miss Bowel Hawk is a good enough player to put it to mid wicket for a boundary. Good evening, Ahmed. Well, both these batsmen, they're setting, setting the stage for Shahid Afridi and Sohail Tanvi. They can, they can be explosive at the bat. Short delivery. Handled perfectly. And this boundary brings 50 partnership. So delivery. Nicely worked away. This should be his 100. What a way to get it. Hitting a boundary, Yunus Khan. And picking up 8 runs from the over. He's gone straight down the ground, fielder. Oh, just a desperate dive in the end. Cannot get down to the catch. It's also gone to the boundary. It was a brilliant effort. Yes, the ball was in the air for a bit. But one thing positive done by Otapo over there, he was looking to catch that thing to pick up another wicket. Ooh. Nicely played. Should be a couple at least. And they push him for the third one. Good running from the batsman. gone through, there was mid wicket, there was mid on, but he struck it like a tracer bullet. Brings up the 250 for Pakistan. And he has come now, Zahir Khan, the most experienced bowler in the Indian lineup, has given away 14 runs so far, turning out to be a very good over for the Pakistanis. <laughs> that should be a boundary. It's all turning in favor of Pakistan in the last few overs. Death touch and four runs was the result. And that was a gift. 
couldn't find the gap. Single to end the over, 269 for four. delivers at the right time for India. It's a huge wicket for India. Yunus Khan was the man dismissed. It was a risky delivery. The final leg was inside the ring. Inside Khan, the leg was alright. It was the leg. Missed it completely. Yunus Khan it's played an outstanding innings. A one to remember. Pakistan, 276 to 5. See the new band at the crease is Afridi. Boom boom Afridi. Look at the strike rate, close to 110 over 247 matches. And listen to that crowd, they're on every moment. Gone for that sweep again. A sweep that brought his downfall in the 2020 final. A sweep that brought the downfall of Eunice Tan before him. And Miss Spalo Hack falls for 49. It amazes me that these guys attempt these shots when they hit so well down the ground. His, his uh, strength is hitting through the line of the ball. And it's brought him undone again. It's gone for 49, it's 283 for 6. So the time for Bobby Orlando replaces this ball. Oh, it's gone through. Happy Singh tried the Yorker, he was looking for the Yorker again. And how controlled was that shot from Sohil Tanvir? And it should be one save because they've run three. And guys might want to see it again. Oh, I'd say his fingers have touched. I, I reckon that's four. Looks like his fingers touched. Yes. Signal four, aren't they? He looks stunned. That's gone. He's given him room. Just changed the line of fraction, didn't he? Just walked across to the offside. Bottom hand and whipped it over mid-wicket. Nobody there. Great strike. But wasn't it just the right length for it, wasn't it? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. How much dexterity was there in that? 300 comes up. 21 required from 14. What an amazing shot. Look at him walking all over the place. <laughs> he got it on the floor, which was very handy. Amazing stroke. This is high. Someone's coming under it. Is it you, Brad? Doesn't keep hold of it. It was a great effort, but it's given a freebie, a couple more. It's running for Pakistan, isn't it? There's been three often strokes like this that have just dropped out of reach. Valiant attempt. If you've taken that, it would have been one of the great catches. It's gone. It's gone all the way. Shy the freely. This could be his moment. He's the man that they were looking to to bring this home. And he sits on the cusp of it. Eight required from eight balls. Just given that extra bit of room. Where's that gone? It's gone in the gap. It's gone in the gap and it's raced away for four. And the trip across the border was worth it for the Pakistani fans. What a cool head for Soil Tanbeer. Hello. Pakistan, the fire. It's a full 
touch. Goodness gracious me. Obviously tried the Yorker first ball. That's a gift. And that's the game, I reckon. The miracle from here. They've just picked these fast bowlers off and he's just backed it right off now. Two support, Isaiah Kyle quick enough to stop it. Keeps it to one. Scores on level. Just today, Shai the Freddy said he's been bowling well, but his batting is still his priority. One run required. It's gone through. Pakistan have won. It's a remarkable victory. They've won by four wickets with a ball to spare here at the PCA Stadium in Mahali. It has been a tremendous effort with the bat. A fabulous game of cricket and congratulations to Pakistan. I thought they were gone for all money when Tendulkar and Gambia just tore them apart early. But it was Umar Gol who came back.